Hey, happy Friday, Bloodline Sports. I want to talk a little bit about learning, how athletes learn, but let's real quick talk about PBR, the event this weekend. We've got the underclass tomorrow. These are your freshmen and sophomores. It's going to start about 8 o'clock at Mountain View High School. They'll do the kind of the combine showcase, uh, doing all the drills, batting practice, and then they'll go into, there's a game at 11.30 and then another game at 2.30. So they split the all the invited kids uh, into four teams. So there'll be two games tomorrow that are going to do the same for the upper class, the so juniors and seniors, on Sunday, about the same time, Mountain View High School. Shea runs an awesome program there at PBR. PBR, I believe, in my mind, is what's – it's the new wave. I think they're going to take over perfect game. I really do. I think they got a little bit more uh, personal touch to it, rank the kids and uh, promote the kids a lot better than, P than perfect game does, in my opinion. Um, so get out there and support these guys. These are the best of the best of Arizona, and it's an invite only. So, again, Mountain View High School, that's um, Brown and Brown and Lindsay. Lindsay and Brown and Mesa. Let's get out there. So let's talk about learning. How do athletes learn specifically? There's, I guess, scientifically, whatever, there's four quadrants of how to learn, but I break it down into two. It's going to be visual or auditory. So visual learners, I am definitely a visual learner. Show me how to do it. I used to watch guys. I would do videos and watch guys swing, the guys on TV when I was growing up watching uh you know barry bonds and <clears throat> and uh ryan sandberg and all my favorites and you know even when i played tennis and golf i did the same thing so i that's that's how i learned i cannot read my reading comp reading comprehension is horrible um my son is an auditory learner he has to be told how to do something he needs to read take it in then his brain talks to his body so but working on a new move, he takes a little longer to get it, but I'm talking a day or two. Like he needs to digest it. Then the brain talks to the body. He's way more athletic than I ever was, made more talent, way more talented than I ever was. I have another kid I specifically work with, Mason Alm, definitely a visual learner. Um, so when I'm I've watched my son when he's getting a private lesson from someone else because dad doesn't work all the time, right? Um, when they're talking, the instructor's talking, my son will take the bat and lean on it and, and listen, intensely listen, taking it in. And then they'll work on a move in the tunnel and he, he doesn't get it right away. But it's, it's amazing. The very next day, he's got it. Bam, bam, bam. He's got it. Um, when I'm talking or working with Mason – he'll actually have the bat in his hand and he'll be move, doing stuff while I'm talking to him. He's, he's working, he's rehearsing, he's feeling it and he gets it right away. So, so what's the difference between right away and a day, right? When it comes to ultimate success down the line, there's no right or way, right or wrong way. If you're a visual learner or auditory learner, but, but the key is to know who you are. So if, if you're a visual learner, watch videos, YouTube, you can YouTube, you know, your favorite players swing slow motion. Every one of them's got them out there on YouTube. If you're an auditory learner, read, go get books on baseball, go listen to people. You can even YouTube uh, coaches speaking on hitting and fielding and pitching. And you can do the same thing with the, as a visual learner is, is you can uh, go take uh, Tim Lincecum slow motion delivery or Justin Verlander, what, whoever is out there. So again, learn, figure out how you learn and then learn that way. Keep, keep working that way. And that'll make you successful. And I'm excited to, I, I get so geeked watching you guys when I see you guys from 14 to 22, as you guys grow and evolve and become just stud baseball players. It's awesome for me. It's so rewarding for me. It's why I do it. It's why I love it. It's my passion. Get out tomorrow. If you can support these guys they are the best of the best in Arizona. PBR runs a tight ship. They're good, man. And, and uh, be a part of it and have a great weekend. And we'll talk to you soon. Bloodline baseball, get in, 
signed up for the summer league. We're going to kick some butt. Reach out to us. We'll talk to you soon.